Hey guys, it's me again, and uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial. But you're all like, yay, tutorial! Alright, so what we're doing a tutorial on is this. The walkway thing. Now, it does go faster than a minecart, and yeah, all that jazz. I made it so I can't go up this, so it's so I don't have to go up there. Yeah. So, we'll be learning how to make this. So, yeah. So, first let's take a look at some different ideas of it. Well, this is uh, the pistons. Now what you have is one sticky piston at the back, and then you have the one normal piston to push you. Uh, okay. So, then if we look over here, this is, as you can see here, ugh, I don't know, I'm getting, getting confused. Uh, okay, there. Um, this would be the same thing repeated over and over again to make this walkway. Now, da -da -da -da, this here would be the bottom, bottom snippet of it. So the input would come in, hit this repeater, hit this block, which powers this redstone and this redstone. But this is set to a 4 delay and this one's set to a 1. The reason this is set to a 4 is so that this makes it so that this will come out fast and then this makes it so this stays out long enough for this one to retract and then get pulled back in. So, example, how that works. That pulls out. So yeah, that's how that works. And this would be the top snippet, which takes a considerably a larger amount of room. Same basic idea, uh, the input, and then the, the input goes into the one block which powers this redstone and this redstone. A repeater of four, a repeater of one, powering that block, and then powering this block. So that works the same. And then, all you have to do is put them together. So over here, this is just um, two of the slices shoved together. So then they are connected. This one's got one tick of delay, this one's got two. And so if we come over here, uh, let's not stand there, let's stand there first. They go in sequence, and then, get in it, and go. So it works, which is happy to know, and now I'll show you guys how to build it. Alright, cool, fun stuff. So, I guess we'll just start with sticky piston, normal piston, and Block, block, repeater here. This is the repeater that's going to be set to four, so bring that back. Redstone. And we're going to have to dig under. Now, depending on how long you're going to make this, I'd suggest just digging a large hole out underneath everything. Why? It makes it easier. Because you're going to have to be doing this repetitively. Oops. And these repeaters are all set to one. And amazingly, that's all you have to do for the first snippet. It's really simple. Just, you gotta figure, find out what you're doing is all. Now, don't put a block on top of this uh, piston. You put a block on top of this one, but not on top of this one. Reason being is, uh, if you put a block here, it'll power this piston too. You don't want that. Uh, let's see. So then we're gonna have to do this piston set. And so, that being said, first we have to power putting that block there. Why? Right. Do that in a second. This one, once again, power to four. And that music is bugging me. Okay, <laughs> redstone. And put this block here because you don't want them joining. And you can just put that up there. This. So basically, we're just building around it. Uh, the input will come in here, and that has to be set to two. This one, still set to four. And then we have a little block here, redstone on top of it. And then another block over here, redstone on top of it. All we have to do is put blocks on top of those, and put repeaters in between. Of course not like that, that, that won't do anything. And bring the redstone down. And that's it. That's basically the tutorial. Now I'm sure you guys don't like that thought, but yeah, that's that's it. All you have to do is keep repeating this process. Then 
I'm losing count because I'm not even counting. Cool. See? That's it. It works. Yay! If you want to add a pressure plate to it, I would suggest... I don't know. I don't know what I want to suggest anymore. But anyways, uh, I'm not going to leave it just at that. I'll do another set just so you can see. Oh, and you do have to have a wall here, otherwise you will get pushed out. But that's not that big an issue. Uh, right, uh, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? So then, you know, you can just set up this grid-like pattern all the way along and then wire them, but that's just me, hopefully. And, and then you're going to have to put a lot of blocks like that just to stop it from... Oh, well, yeah, because this is important. I have to show you guys. You have to connect to connect them. You would just put the repeater in there so that basically once this is powered, this one powers this block, it powers this repeater, and you got to set that to two. And then basically it would just continue on and on and on. But we don't need that anymore. We're going to put one there. And then... Uh, and it'll work the same way, so... It goes like that, and yeah, there. that one goes in there. And as you may be able to tell now, the next one's hooked up. There. And as for this one, I can fill this in now. That's why it's easier just to dig a big hole down there. And then, and then, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say. But it's all good. Oops, no block I wanted. And as for this, did I change it? No. Oops, oops, no! Messing shit up already. And to connect these, all you'd have to do is put a block here and put two in between them. That's it. And you just continue that as much as your little heart desires. Oops. Oops. Got said this to four. <laughs> so that's what happens if you don't set it to four. It gets left. There we go. And yeah, that's that's the tutorial. I bet you guys are disappointed. You're like, what? That, that, that's it? Bullshit. Well, man, that is it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys want to see the elevator tutorial, let me know. I mean, because the elevator that is similar to this. Yeah. If so, I will, and I'll uh, see you guys later. I think. Probably. That is not it. Uh, <laughs> I thought uh, I should probably show you guys how to hook up a pressure plate. So... We're gonna break this. We're gonna set a repeater here to four. And we're gonna put a. Whoa. Uh, the piston right there. Uh, yeah, that's what we want. And we'll just put a repeater here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then however much delay you're going to need on the pressure plate. I don't think I have a pressure plate. Cool! Oh, I don't, I don't want to get rid of my sandstone. What can we get rid of? I'll put the glass up here for now. Uh, pressure plate. Oh my god, I'm so unprepared. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, I'll uh, put the pressure plate there, I guess. And that doesn't require much effort to walk through. Uh, let's see here. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll do. There you go. Probably don't even need this much delay. You can put like two. The only point of the repeaters was so that the line doesn't go wherever. But yeah, that's how you hook up a patch plate. <laughs> so now it's over. No more tutorial for you guys.
for now. See ya.